Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Ready to Rise. Um, and you can go to readydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords and the different picks and pictures of the unusual chords and stuff like that. Okay, so um, if you, oh, I'm not going to do a demo on this because I already did one with those two cute kids for my Spanish class. They are actually the original kids on the video that was published. Go look up Ready to Rise and you'll see them. They're the first two soloists and I happen to know them. And so I thought, and I was having a hard time singing and playing at the same time, so I called them and was like, come help me. And so they agreed to come help. So anyway, check out the demo. I'll put the link below. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this step by step. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with our capo on five. And then we're going to go on a C. And I've got this, I've got the pick typed up right there. Okay, you're going to go five, two, two, five, two, two, five, five, three, three. And then you're going to do it again, but you're going to start with a double five. Five, five, two, two, five, five, three, four, hit. So I'm going to open up four and then hammer it, okay? Five, two, two, five, five, three, three, five, five, two, two, five, five, three, four, hit. Okay, that's our intro. Then she starts singing, and you're going to do that again. Where can I turn? I can't sing it and play at the same time. That's why I had them come. Just lift up your ring finger, load, same exact pick. Load, lost in the crowd, where I should be. And then you're going to do an F major 7 2. But, the, so here's your F major 7. It's 3, or 4, 3, 2, just like stair steps. 2, 3, 4 on the first, second, third fret. But guess what? Um, we're going to do a 2, which means we're going to have the third string open. And I'm going to, instead of having my bass note before, I want that deep, rich sound of the six. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the six string with my thumb wrapped around, keeping my pointer on two and opening up three. And since I'm not hitting four until I do that, I need to start with it open. So I don't need to hold down three or four. I'm just going to hold down six and two on the first fret. Same pick. Okay, same thing that we've done, but our bass note is now six. Okay, so she said, lost in the crowd, where I should be long. Where do I be? Same exact thing that we did with a four hit. And then we're going to go up and we're going to reach up with our ring and grab the sixth string, third fret. Okay, and I can, I can let go of the fourth string. I, again, I'm holding two on the first fret and six on the third fret. There are pictures of both of those two chords right here, okay? So when you see F major seven comma two, you're thinking, what is that? It's this in my book today, okay? All right, and then the, the other one is a G4. That's a G sus four with our pointer. G, okay? And I need that, but all I need is, I need six and two. Again, your bass note. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sing that first verse and kind of walk it through the whole thing. Here we go. Where can I turn when I feel love? A minor seventh lone, five is your bass note. Lone, lost in the crowd, where I should be. And then I'm going to do my wrap around my thumb. Six is my bass note. F major seven, comma two. Lone. Six. Okay, this is your G4. Long. Ah, ah. Long. Sorry. Okay, then you're gonna do it again. Second line. Here comes Christian. The boy comes in singing. Stay, my baby. Others walk away. Lift up your rings. A minor seventh. Way. Grab six, fray, G four. Oh, I blew that. Fray, my fingernail got caught. I can do all. Can't, cannot sing this. 
and play at the same time. That's the help. I can do all things. Okay, so now we're on the chorus. We're going to do this strum. And I have this strum typed out here, here for you. I don't stick to it exactly, but you got to get one, two, three. what you do but you got to get two sets of eight counts one two three four five like that okay so I've got here's what I've got written down down up whatever you feel, but this one works if you struggle finding a good strum, okay? So you're going to do your C, your A minor 7th, which is just lift off your ring, then a full F, and then a C with a bass, then a bass of G, so a C with a bass of G, C slash G means C with a bass of G. So what I'm doing there is I'm going to take my C, move my ring up to the 6th string, and put my pinky where my ring was on the fifth string, third fret. And I get that nice sound. Instead of the, this works, but they, they wanted this. And I like that. And then a G7. And the strum on those two are shorter, so we're going to go down, down, down. with the base of G and then a G7. Okay, and then you repeat that and okay, so I'm gonna you're gonna do it twice. I'm gonna do it twice. I'm gonna try to sing it and strum this for you, okay? <clears throat> Not a soprano. I can do all intro. I'm ready to. And I'm going to do my F major 7th, go right to that, 6 is my bass note. Rise. Okay, and I'm ready for the second verse. Now, in the demo, I totally forgot this fun pick I was going to do. Spaced it. Um, and you can, and I just repeated what I did on the first verse, which you can totally do. Okay, but I'm going to mix it up. That's what I meant to do, and I forgot. Now I can't get those kids back because they're busy. <laughs> so I'm going to go, I'm going to... Something I might do that... something like this. two kids singing. I was so enjoying their voices, their sweet voices. I forgot. Anyway, so, okay, so now I'm going to try to sing it, and it's not going to go well. Okay, so I'm just going to, then I'll show you what I'm doing. So it goes, um, well, he holds...
what I'm doing, okay? But you kind of get how that goes. All right, so on the C, I'm gonna, my main basic pick, if you don't wanna do any of that fun fingering, you can just do this, just make it a little different. You can do bass two, three, one, pause, two, three, one, and then alternate your bass notes. So five, two, three, one, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, two, three, one. And I've, I've got this typed right here, the basic pick with a comma representing the pause. So it's gonna look, Base two three one comma two three one and then I'm gonna alternate on a C I'm gonna start with five and alternate with four four two three one two three one A minor seven same thing five and four five two three one two three one four two three one two three one okay and then I'm gonna go to a full bar F okay six two three one two three one four two three one two three one G seven six two three one For the second half of the second verse. However, I'm going to show you a fun few little not too hard fingering little things you can do that make it sound a lot trickier and they're not that hard. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is bass two, three, one, two, three, one, two, hit, three, four. Okay, so two, You don't have to do it, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So I want to see bass two, three, one, two, three, one, and then I lift up my pointer and I go two hammer, two hit, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's not written down. If you want to take notes, I'll do it again. Six, two, three, or six, sorry, five. Five, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, open two, two hit, two hammer hit, okay, whatever. Two hit, three, four, one, two, and lift up your ring finger. Now it's an A minor seventh. Do the exact same thing. Six, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, hit, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to show you another thing you can do there, and that just makes it gives it some fun little stuff instead of just boring. Okay. You could do that if you wanted to. Okay, so I went bass two, three, one, pause two. on the first string third fret one one pause two three one or two three four I meant and then I went so I opened I hit open three no sorry I took put my tall man on three and then I pulled him off and then I put him on four and then just a little pull off, okay? And then I do the same thing on an A minor, but I kind of come in a little bit sooner. Okay, so then I, so I went bass, two, I don't even know what I did. I've got to get eight counts, but I kind of want to make the, the, the vocals, I'm kind of making my guitar sing, done with, let's see, he holds me up, his unfailing love, God's worth his son. Okay, so, I'm kind of making my da 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 da, making my guitar sing that part. Okay, so on the A minor seventh, I went five, three, one, one, pause, two, no, did I pause? No, I didn't pause. Five, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go same thing I did before, and then open four, hammer on. I'm always in, with him my enemy. I'm making my, I'm making my guitar sing, and then so three pull, sorry, three pull four hit, and then I'm gonna go to my F. Oh come on, come on, come on! I can do this. Evidently not. <laughs> start again. Okay, so I went to that F, so I went six, two, three, one, pause, two, three, one, and I put my pinky down there on the first string, third fret, and I went, so 
and then I'm going to alternate with six, I think. Six, two, three, one, pause, two, three, one, six, one, three. And then I'm gently going to lift off my bar, which opens up my one, but it also opens up two, three, four, and it opens up like everybody else. And so I only can play now six, five, and three, because those are the ones I'm holding. Do not pluck two and do not pluck four while you've got that going on, while you lift, okay? So six, two, three, one, pause, two, three, one, six, one, three, two, three, no, I lied. Okay, one, six, one, three, one, three. Now I can put my pinky on the second string, third fret, and then I can hit three again, okay? So I'm kind of alternating with three. Six, one, six, three, one, three, two. Okay, sit, okay, I've got to pay attention. One, six, one, three, you can hit six again if you want to. One, three, two, ah, I hit three. Six, two, three, one, two, three, one, six, one, three, one, three, two, three, yeah. And then reach up and grab your bass note, no, we'll grab your G7th with the bass note of six and your pointer on one. One, six, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then go fast. One, 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 one. Do a little run down on the first string. One, 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 two. Okay, so that was my pinky was on one third fret, and I lift it up. My pointer's on one first fret, then my pointer's open, so open first fret, and then pinky's on two third fret. Let me do that F again really slowly. I'm going to try to just call it what I'm doing. Six, two, three, one, pause, two, three, one, one, six, one, three, one, three, two, three, one, six, two, three, one, pause, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, 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 one what it sounds like. I'll always see how with him I am in now. Okay, and I'm also going to do it one more time and I'm going to count. Okay, so because the counting is kind of weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, Start again. Six, two, three, one, two, three, one, and I have this typed out. 
We are three quarters of the way down the page, right there at the bottom. And I've got this part typed out because it's a little different. It's not hard though. C, but you're going to normally base note is five, but you're going to grab six. Six, three, two, one, pause, two, three, one, and then you're going to do an F. Six, two, three, one, two, three, one. We're walking our base note up. Six, two, three, six, two, Put it, I'm going to put that with the words. It's all typed up. Every single pick, just follow it along. C with the base of E, then an F, then a C with the base of G, and then a G7. Okay? Here, no. Here can be impossible. Through here, impossible. Four and hold. I can do all. Now we're in the chorus, but I'm going to do a slightly different strum. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, and I'm just, I'm gonna, because I want it to come in kind of soft, okay? Um, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for the C, the A minor seventh, and F. And then when I get to the last part of this little section, I'm gonna go. Okay, so you'll see. Okay, I can do a So you're going to do the C is the same, the F major 7th is the same. I can do all things. I'm ready to rise. I can do all things. Ready to. Now I want to do something different here because the girl singing it does something really pretty and I want to copy that on the guitar. So I'm going to do what I'm calling an F major 7 6 riff. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down 6 and 2 on the 1st fret and then put a D7 position up here on the 2nd and 3rd fret, up on the 3rd string, so 3rd string, 2nd fret, ring finger and pinky on 4 and 2, 3rd fret. Doesn't quite work, but it works really well with the riff. And the riff is, and I've got it all typed up, very, very bottom of the page is the last two chords of the whole song. So you're going to go exactly what's written. You're going to go six and two, three, four, one, three, four. Then move your pointer down to the first string and go one, three, and then move your pointer back up to two and your pinky down to one and go six and one, two, three, one, two. And then put on a C, leave your pinky there, and go six and one, two, two, five, five, three, three, five, five, two, two, five, three, five, three, four, four, hit, and then plus five and two and hold. Okay? Alright, let me try 
that last little line. Ready to run. Oh, oh. Ready to Rise. Um, again, you can go to rainyjdpower.com. You print off the words with the chords and the pictures above it and the fun little pics that I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Go watch the demo with those cute kids singing with me, okay? It's really fun. All right, for more fun songs, go to rainyjdguitar.com.